Welcome to Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Training uh, Measure Phase. Uh, on the last video, I presented you how to create a data collection plan. And uh, now uh, it's a moment when you have a uh, data in front of you. Uh, so you have a data in Excel spreadsheet, for example, and uh, based on the project objectives uh, and based on the data collection plan, uh, you have a data, uh, raw data. And now is a moment when uh, we need to look at the data and present them uh, so they are more um, valuable for us and for our project, for our customers as well. So please use very simple um, Excel functions here. And you can start with the minimum and maximum. So if you can select all the data you collected and choose minimum uh, function in Excel and later choose maximum value in Excel. So you will see what's the minimal value and maximum value. Uh, why it's important? Because it will give you a comfort of understanding what's the range of the process. So for example, if the waiting time for a pizza delivery um, is uh, minimum 15 minutes and maximum 2 hours, it will give you a very uh, specific knowledge about how the process behaves. And later, in analyze phase, it will be very important to, to look at the data as well. Okay, so you have minimum and maximum. The next step is you can select all the data you have and choose what's the average. So what is the average value in this situation? So for example, you have a, back to the time of pizza delivery, uh, you have a, a minimum 15 minutes, maximum two hours, but the average is, for example, 20, uh, 20 minutes. So it means that a customer is waiting for pizza on average 20 minutes. So you, you may ask, uh, so why it's, Two hours. So what, what happened that it, is, was, it was like a two hours? And you will look at the situation uh, later in analyze phase uh, to improve the, the process, um, to improve the time of uh, pizza delivery. Okay, so you have a data, you have a minimum, you have a maximum, you have also uh, average, so you know what is the mean, what is the... Um, um, uh, what is the mean of the, of the process. Uh, the next step, you can select all the uh, data you have and um, choose the function in Excel as well that is called uh, standard deviation. Uh, what is standard deviation? It's about uh, how uh, our process, how results of our process um, are different from the mean. So there's like a specific uh, um, way to calculate this uh, standard deviation, um, but I will not present it to you now as it's really like a very basic level of uh, Six Sigma. So it's your first uh, Lean Six Sigma project and I don't want to make it very complicated. So just trust Excel and uh, choose the, your data in, and calculate the standard deviation of, of uh, your data. The standard deviation will be um, needed later to understand what is the voice of the process. So you can very easily uh, create the um, graph where you can show what is the voice of, of the process. Okay, so uh, before we create a graph and before we go to um, this uh, uh, calculation level, uh, think about what is the voice of the customer. So what is the voice of customer? If the um, pizza delivery time is a problem uh, and you have no data, now you know that what is the minimum, val minimum value, what is maximum value and you know what is the average, you can go to your customer now and ask, okay, but what is, what is your expectation? I have a data, I collected data for three months and based on the data collection plan, I have these results. 
But now tell me what is your expectation? You have you see that you can see the data as a customer and you tell me what is my what's the objective of my project? Uh, why why it's done here now on this level, not in the define phase? Because very often in define phase we don't have a data. So even for the customer, it's hard to decide what is really the expectation. Sometimes the customer is not uh, doesn't even know what is the expectation about the process. Now we have a specific data, and we can ask the customer. So for example, if the um, average time of the pizza delivery is 20 minutes and in the same time you can ask the customer uh, okay so what is the time from your perspective you would like to get the pizza the customer can say that okay but it's 20 minutes now but my expectation is to have it between 5 and 10 minutes so it's really like a, a very important to understand what is the um, voice of the customer why because later I will show you how to compare the voice of the customer with the voice of the process. And looking at this data, you have a comfort. What is the goal of your project? What is really the objective you are going to achieve um, as your project is completed? Okay, and now we are going to look at the data. So I'm going to show you a very simple example how to uh, present the data how to create like the voice of the process and how to add the voice of the customer to the to the graph okay so let's uh, think let's think that um, on the project charter we have an objective related with the um, pizza delivery time so you want to decrease time spent on the pizza delivery to the customer uh, we created a data collection plan uh, based on uh, the data collection plan uh, we measure the data for three months, uh, so how much time uh, the customer was waiting for each order. And um, it was about uh, re one restaurant, so the delivery was from one specific restaurant. Uh, we measured um, the um, time in minutes per one pizza. Uh, we measured the number of pizza per, per, per day as well. And what we also uh, measure was the type of pizza. So we defined uh, four types of pizza and uh, we measure the data about those specific four types of uh, pizza. Uh, now we have a data, we have Excel spreadsheet when you can see all the data we collected. And now um, I'm going to select all the uh, data in Excel, uh, I'm going to calculate minimum value, I'm going to calculate maximum value, and as well average and standard deviation. So please look at the data. Now you have uh, uh, not only data, but some information about what, what the data um, are about, what, what, are, what are the data specifically. Now um, we are going to create very simple run chart in Excel to see how our data uh, behaves uh, during three months we have and based on the calculations we have um, we can create the line on the graph the line that the line that will show us what is the average value. So what is the mean of the, of the process? Now uh, we have the mean and based on the standard deviation calculated, um, we can decide what is the voice of the process. Voice of the process is about lower control limits and upper control limits. Upper control limits and lower control limits are calculated as a free standard deviation. So it means that free standard deviation from the mean, from the, from the line we just created. So now we are going to add two additional lines to the graph and the first line is lower control limit, the 
Second line is upper control limit. Why? Uh, this is a voice of the process, so it, it shows us how the process behaves and what are the limits the process um, change, uh, changes itself. Why we need this? Um, it's about understanding the variation of the process, so how each individual result is different from the mean, from the average value. Now, with this graph, we can uh, ask the customer, okay, please look, this is how our process behaves, and tell me what is your expectation. So, what is your expectation as a customer? What is the value you are happy with? And the customer can tell you that, for example, the expectation is about 10 minutes, or the, the range between 5 and 10 minutes of delivery is something the customer expects. And then you can add the customer expectation, voice of the customer, on the graph as well. And you have a comfort to understand where we are with the process and where we should be with the process. Mm, the way we compare voice of the customer with the voice of the process. It's called uh, process capability. And as it's like a, your first um, Six Sigma project, I will not concentrate here about details. Um, there's a very great program called Minitab when you can very easily calculate all this uh, information. And if you want, I can support you to do all those calculations in Minitab, uh, if you want, so please contact me. Uh, however, for the first uh, Greenberg project, I just want you to understand the basic rules. So it's better to create the graph by your own, on your own, instead of calculating it in Minitab, because now we have a comfort that you understand how to create the graph and uh, how, to, how, how, how it works in details. Okay, so now we have a voice of the customer, voice of the process, um, and you understand what is the minimum value of your process, what is the maximum, what is the average. Uh, so uh, we are done with this part of uh, measure phase. And the next video is about um, Pareto. Pareto is really like a very powerful tool and it can be used everywhere. So I will show you how to use Pareto a chart in your project. Mm, so thank you very much and please create your voice of the customer and voice of the process graph for your uh, project now. Thank you.